What you doing, Hanko? You want me to throw the ball? Give me, you, want to, you want me to throw it? You want to throw it? Go get it. Good boy. Okay, guys, we're out here today. I wanted to show you the Escapod. We're just going to do a quick um, overview. Um, this is going to be episode one of the series, and then as we kind of get further into it, I'll, I'll deep dive each individual section. But we're going to start here back at the galley. Really, really cool. Um, here on the on the back side of the galley is actually, if you see the solar panel, I've got it sitting out already. But the solar panel actually mounts here to the back. So as you're driving uh, and the sunlight's hitting it, uh, it's actually trickle charging the, the power system that we have um, on the camper. So I really, really like that. You got your two little handle notches here for opening up the hatch. But here's the galley, good pantry, food storage system. I got my solar charger right in here. Uh, the face of these cabinets is really unique. So this specific face acts as a cutting board. And then the other one for this side is actually right over here. If you kind of swing around, you can see it's a little table that then folds into itself. Uh, and that's for our, our kind of washing station, uh, prep station if you really wanted to. We got an on-demand hot water heater, um, 21 gallon water tank, which I can show you. But uh, we come back over here. So here in the galley, we got a two burner stove. We got a nice little drawer storage space here. Now, specific to my camper, this is a false front. Uh, typically this would be a drawer that would be up here, but on the bottom side, this is where we have the Propex heater system. So if I can, I can kind of show you that. So if you can kind of see, it might be a little difficult to see down in there. I don't want to pull the drawer all the way out, but. Oh, well, there it is. Just a, you there you go. There's the Propex heater. Does a really good job of keeping the cab nice and warm. And then of course, on a slide out, you got your 65 quart Yeti cooler that comes uh, standard with it. Nice little LED light up here. Um, that table that we were just showing you can also connect right here on the slide out. So if you need a little bit more prep space, you can slide this all the way out and then attach your, your table. Now, for our setup, I do have dual propane and the reason for that is being here in Colorado. Um, we, we're gonna be using our Propex heater and the on-demand hot water heater quite often. Uh, so I wanted to always have a backup system in the event that we are out uh, for more than a few days uh, using it pretty heavily. Uh, it just gives me an option to do that. Side. Uh, it's got these really cool uh, scissor jack stands. I think they're rated for like 3,000 pounds, so pretty heavy duty. Also have a little two inch hitch receiver um, on the back side here. And then if you see that little exhaust tube, um, that is for the Propex heater. Uh, so, you know, we don't get any fumes inside the cabin. Making our way kind of over to the side here. We do have a roam awning. It's a six and a half by eight foot awning. It sits up here on, on some Thule crossbars and a rhino rack, a little rack stand. Here on each fender, which is really cool, they're rhino lined. They have a two inch receiver on the back end of each. Uh, I really like that feature uh, because, you know, Escapod's coming up with some, some designs right now for some pretty cool products that, that will eventually that you can attach here, or I can attach whatever, maybe a two, two bike bike rack on each side if I really wanted to. Uh, they're really sturdy. You know, I get up here, I use them all the time. Gives you great access to the roof. Uh, you know, I can sit here and kind of bounce on it. It's perfectly good to go. Uh, you know, if you need to access, you know, whatever you have up here, whether that be some kayaks or some paddle boards or a canoe, you can. Um, another really cool feature on the door itself is uh, Escapod puts this little magnet plate with their little branding. And so when you open, it has a little magnetic catch back here by the topo. And this just comes back. Nice little secure in place. I'm gonna wait to go inside the cab because I wanna show you, we'll just finish going to the outside. But this is the tongue box. This is probably one of my favorite features um, that we went with because I was concerned about storage space. And uh, man, this thing didn't disappoint. Provides me plenty of storage. But as you can see here, open it up. I got two 
a dual bank battery system here that's ran in series. Show you this cool little tool. One thing the Escapod does is they like to take up and, and utilize as much space as possible. So right here on the back of the tongue box, they installed this four inch PVC pipe. They give you this cool little tool that they CNC machine themselves. And if you're a fisherman or you know you got a, a rug that you want to take with you, it goes all the way through to the other side. Same uh, same latch on that side, so you can you know put whatever you want in here, a couple fishing rods or or a camping rug, and it's nice and secure. Oh, I hear you, Hank. Let me throw this ball. Nope. Give. Give. That's what you want. Come here. Ooh, what's that? What's that? You ready? Uh, another thing that we uh, added for storage space is this nice Rome 93 liter rugged case. Uh, mounts right up here using the L-Track system that uh, is provided by Escapon for the tongue box if you go with that option. This is great because this is what I keep all my tools, uh, you know, broom, you know, just miscellaneous stuff, but mainly this is my toolbox, my toolbox on the road. Kind of moving up here to the front. I went with the, uh, the articulating hitch, uh, and I did that based on the terrain that we were going to be in. Um, you know, I didn't want the standard two ball. Uh, I wanted it, you know, to, I wanted it, the trailer to be able to kind of move with me, uh, as we were going down some rough terrain. But the really cool feature about this is you can pop it off, take it with you, uh, and, it's, and it kind of acts like a security measure uh, for when you're out off grid, you know, in case some, you know, person comes by and, and wants to take your stuff. Uh, it, it's going to be a little difficult for them to do that. So I really like that feature. Um, and then they also still give you the attachment for the two inch ball, which I thought was was pretty awesome because I actually used that uh, to move the Escapod inside my garage um, using a tow dolly. Okay, so now let's come over to this side show you the other side of our tongue box so i have a yeti bucket i've got an action packer some chairs in there and i still have plenty of space uh to store some some items on top if i truly really wanted to this is where i keep our portable toilet um, as well while we're traveling so it's up and out of the way but just really great feature and once again it is lockable it's lockable two different ways you got a key lock here and then if you pull this out can actually slide a little lock down in there so you can kind of double protect it here's that pvc pipe tube like i said that goes all the way through on the back side of that tongue box now shore power which is great for charging your batteries when you've got it in the garage it just takes your standard extension cord plug it right in trickle charge your batteries charge them up make sure you're good to go before you go out on your trip and then over here so kind of already showed you the hot water on demand heater but this is where uh, your water ports are at the 21 gallon water tanks underneath here. You got a little water pump um, switch. And then, of course, you know, the, this is how you feed water in and then the water comes out. And I've got a hose in the back. That's a quick connect that just quick connects right up and you're good to go. Um, I don't know if Mike can show you while we're down here. Maybe he can show you the independent suspension I chose to go with versus the Timberland. Come on, get over here. Uh, but if you can kind of see the independent suspension down here, this is manufactured in-house by Escapod. This is their design. And let me tell you, I am so excited I went with this. Um, because when you hit a bump, you know, you don't have your trailer bouncing around. It absorbs it. It's nice and smooth. It makes it great for when you're, when you're towing uh, and going down these rough, these rough uh, trail roads. And, man, that, that's just that's a money feature to me. Open this up. Now greatest feature of all the interior so standard queen size mattress um got some great cabinetry little led lighting got the stargazer window right there all right so let's start here at the headboard so this pops down you'll see i have a xantrax 1000 watt pure sine wave uh, inverter got my battery kill switch i got a little circuit breaker circuit breaker panel here for my uh, for main inside the cabin and then all the outlets as well as my fuse box on the inside here. I do have some great storage space on this side. 
I put a first aid kit here. I've got a fire extinguisher and some uh, Nemo pillows that I keep in there. But this is just a great, I, I like this feature, right? It's got a nice little slant to it. So you can sit back if you want to sit inside the cab and read a book or watch a movie. It's got these nice little uh, cutouts up here with some leather inserts that, you know, cables, keys. I put some gloves up here for the kids. You got two USB ports on each side to plug your devices in as well as a little 12 volt up here. One thing I really, really, really want to show you is over here. So this cabinetry is pretty unique. And let's say you just want a chance to kick back, relax, maybe watch a movie with the family. Well, you can do that right here. So this integrates, you can put your laptop, iPad, whatever. Sit it right here, sit back nice and nice and comfy. And, and you're 5'11"? Okay, so I'm 5'11". So if I wanted to, right, you can kind of see for reference as I'm sitting back where my feet are in relation to these cabinets, right? You got I, tons feet, of foot I, space. Ton in of foot space. Okay. Now, if I'm laying down, right, even if I'm laying down, okay, I am 5'11", and I've got foot space for days. Uh, originally, um, I was a little concerned that I, it might be a little claustrophobic in here, but, uh, man so much space uh, i was i was very impressed and even with these cabinets you know you got you got plenty of s space to put stuff in uh you know not really organized now but you know i've got our these are our, our uh, thermal insulated window coverings um which are great like if you really want it to be blacked out it's a cabinet space for days which is perfect you know just oh, I threw some some hand warmers and stuff in here, but yeah, overall, really, really, really enjoying this camper. Um, it's got a max max fan up here, a little four speed max fan, which will help to circulate the air or draw some of that warm air out. But yeah, that is pretty much a quick overview of this camper. Uh, like I said, I'll kind of go a little further in further detail as we start to kind of dial it in. Uh, get it organized the way we want it. This is only our fourth trip um, out in it and uh, still learning all the, the Working out the kinks and just kind of getting familiar with the way that we want it that works best for uh, me and my family uh, Because this setup is exactly what we use for all five of us uh, We got the rooftop tent that was on top, but now I transitioned into the truck uh, But yeah, Escapod did a great job And that is the overview of this trailer. So thanks for Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, you can hit me up at cj at offgridessential.com.